Yeah, welcome, welcome. Y'all tuning into the Berkowitz show. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You heard? First and foremost, man, I'd like to shout out to all the people and whatnot that that support us and do everything. But right now, this is the Berkowitz show, man. Tune in, man. It's gonna be some real shit, man. And today's topic, right, is you don't need day ones. You need real ones. You heard? Like, listen, a day one could have been hating since day one. Don't let that go over your head, huh? Just because I've known you for a long time, that doesn't mean I was fucking with you for a long time. Just because I know you a while, that don't mean nothing, B. You need a real one. Real ones support you through thick and thin, and real ones check you and let you know if you veering off. See, some day ones remind you of some shit that you're trying to forget. Huh? Some day ones don't see the growth in you. Huh? Some day ones will always, like, bring up some shit when you was at your dark time in your life. You know what I mean? Like, always bringing it up, you know? Some day ones just sit there and remind you of the past because they stuck in the past. You heard? And when I say about the growth part is that when you're moving on into and your mind is opening up, as you get older, you evolve, man. Nothing stays the same. Nothing. So as you start to evolve, man, some people are stuck back there. So when you're talking about you know what I'm saying? Evolution of what you're trying to do out here with your life. And you always want to bring people with you. Sometimes they don't see that, man. It's rare that you get money with people you want to get money with. You know what I mean? That's why loyalty is so big and it be revered. Like people who who's very loyal to each other, we champion them. Like the locks, like MOP, huh? Like Tony Yale, huh? Niggas look up to them like, yo, that nigga's a loyal dude. Then you see some of the people that try to be on some throw a slick hating comment, remark in there. Yeah, that nigga's on son, he on son dick, huh? You know what I mean? Like, I know some day ones that that wasn't even battle tested. There's no disrespect to no people, no anybody. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is you got some day ones who's not even battle tested. Nevertheless, you trying to do some real shit with. You know what I mean? Some day ones is not battle tested when it comes to women. You don't know how a nigga will be with, with a girl. Bitch like you and don't like him, but he liking her. You heard? You don't even know. You know what I'm saying? So you got to watch that. Some niggas is not battle tested when it comes to beef. That's usually the regular shit. Like usually a nigga will, you know, hopefully a nigga will fight it out. Don't run or have to bust. You know what I mean? Have to do the other thing. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of niggas is not even friend tested to be calling niggas day ones and friends. Soon as you have a dis a uh, uh, disagreement, friends apologize. Enemies have fallouts. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas for years just sat back and just wondered how you tick and why you tick the way you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like let's put it like this: even family. You know what I mean? Niggas can't get along so much that the families who do get along, we salute them. That's real rap. You know what I'm saying? Like the Wayans brothers, other families that's in the hood that have businesses and whatnot. When niggas die, when the, uh, when the elder person died that put that business together, the family came in get together to keep the shit going. They get rid of it and sell the shit. You know why? 
because they can't get along half the time. You know what I'm saying? And it's real, man. Like, you need real people with you, man. You can, yo, that, that saying is so true when they say, you will meet a friend through business than business through a friend. And that's real. It's unfortunate, but it's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are so stuck in these caveman ways. Or you, you like, because you didn't evolve, you always talking about the time when you was popping, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep moving on, and that's what life is about, my nigga. You will just be an old fool that used to be. You don't want to be a used to be. You want to still be getting to it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know how to use this. You know, today's computers and shit like that. Today's this. You got to keep up with the times, bro. You know what I mean? And it's hard to do that with people who stuck in the past. So a lot of day ones be stuck in the past, B. And then simply too, sometimes you just outgrow people. It happens all the time. And it's all right. You know? But y'all got to stop all that day one bullshit, man. And y'all using that word loosely. You know what I mean? I got friends that I knew for years out of all of them it's like three four of them that i fuck with for real nigga i got day ones that don't even share my fucking podcast i got day ones that don't even you, yo dub yo i fucks with your shit bro yo liking my shit all the niggas i know for the subscribers to be the way it is all the subscribers that i got damn near out of 100%, maybe three of them is people I know. You heard? So stop all that day one shit. These niggas just be talking shit. Nobody gives a fuck, my nigga. All these niggas care about is they self and what you could do for them. And, and then all the people, I don't really care about that shit too much because it's like, everybody say, yeah, yeah, I want you to be this. Yo, I hope that shit pop off for you until it do. Then when it do pop off, now you got this other shit with you. Oh, this nigga thinking he all that, this and this and that, doing that YouTube shit. That shit ain't nothing. Uh, uh, uh. Yo, nigga, I'm done with that street shit, my nigga. But I'll knock your head off, B. Huh? Straight like that. You know what I mean? I'm just here to just talk about day ones and real ones, man. How niggas getting that shit confused and twisted. You need real ones. Real ones is going to help you. Real ones going to give you ideas. Real ones going to hold you accountable. You smell me? Make you push the ball. You heard? Like, that's what it is. Like, I right, we can go back biblical times. I don't even want, you know what I mean? This is a disclaimer. When I talk some shit about the Bible, whatever, don't hold me to it, man. I'm just, from what I think I know. You know what I mean? And if I'm wrong about something, y'all leave it in the comments and let the kid know or whatever. But this is how I do it. In biblical times, like Daniel. That's why Daniel is revered and his man, Meshach and the Bendigo and them niggas. Huh? They got caught up by the king, got bagged. All right, let's talk the street time. They got bagged up. You know what I mean? Niggas threw them down. Rock and gave them niggas the long sentence. Paul, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas wanted them niggas to eat like how they eat and all this other shit. That was against their God. And how they move in life. They all made a pact that they're going to stay down. Period. No matter what. So it got to the point where they wanted them niggas to bow down to some type of statue shit. Like, yo, you know what I mean? That's like you getting bagged up and whatnot. And then these niggas want you to bow down to some, some ill devil shit. And you like, nah, nigga, I ain't doing that shit. I don't give a fuck about that, you heard? They was like, nah, we not doing that. We not doing that at all. Boom, the king was like, yo, we're going to throw these niggas in the furnace. Me shacking them niggas. We're going to throw them niggas in the furnace and burn these niggas up. Them niggas was like, so be it, nigga. You know what I mean? We stood, we standing strong, nigga, today. You know what I mean? Like that, bomb. Niggas say, you know what? Y'all niggas is down like that. Didn't do it. You smell me? Now with Daniel and shit, 
You know what I mean? You know how you got other hating ass niggas that's around lying and shit because the king was fucking with son a little bit. You dig? Lying and shit. Had the niggas like, boom, he's not doing this. He's not, you know, still staying true to his self, true to his God and the pact that he made with him and his peoples. Like, this is what we do. It's bigger than us. King them through that nigga in the lion's den. Huh? Niggas open up the door the next night. That nigga Daniel was right there. Boom. Niggas say, yo, whoever God you fucking with, nigga, he all right with me, man. Got to be some truth to it. So just that type of loyalty alone, just when you having loyalty and you doing it right and you not envious of your man, that's real one. That was a day one. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of day ones out here who's not a day one, nigga. I just knew you for a minute. I knew you since back then, nigga. How many niggas you know for a long time? You don't call that nigga. You don't fuck with them. But if I see him like, nah, that's my man, we go way back. Go ba way back like what? Huh? Go way back like what? Because you was in my elementary school? Like Big Pun said, elementary school? Huh? Like, get the fuck out of here. I, like, somebody keep blowing my shit up, Sean. Hold on, B. You know what I mean? But, like, you know, at the end of the day, man, niggas ain't tested. So, when you got a, uh, that's like you having an army on, on y'all going to war, and none of these niggas fought before. Or they didn't fight in a long time. Nigga, you still, you not ready, nigga. You out of shape. You know what I mean? As soon as some shit happens on some friend shit, where your day one supposed to be a day one, and he show you that this nigga's like day 26. I say day 26 because I got bitch ass RB band, man. Huh? When you day 26, nigga, you ain't day one. You know what I'm saying? It be some day ones that I haven't seen or talked to in a minute that's still day one down ass nigga. Call them niggas right away. Bomb, bomb, bomb. What you need, B? Oh, word niggas is what? We pull up on them right now. They be the people that you be with too much. You know what I mean? So this, this is the moral of the story, man. When you out there and you moving and shaking, man, this ain't the homeboy network. You trying to move and shake, man. You need to know the goals and aspirations of these people that you're trying to do stuff with. Because if they're not on no type of time, they don't got no million dollar idea, they don't got no way that they think, boom, if they just think they're going to do a certain thing, which is cool, but if it don't align with you, you got to, you got to, yo, it is what it is, man. You got to cut ties, man. Some niggas never want to grow up. They always want to be the Toys R Us kid, my nigga. And that's just what it is, man. So on that note, man, tune into the channel, like and subscribe. You know what I mean? Salute.